Hi, good morning. Welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. We're going to get ready, amen, to enter into the midnight hour. We're going to bring forth the word, amen, the word that's going to bring healing and deliverance. So this is part two of part one, sealing our deliverance with prayer and protection. So Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we give you the honor and the glory. God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy upon our lives. We thank you, Father God. That as we enter into the midnight hour, Father God, we come with praise and worship. Yea, God, we give you the honor and we give you the glory. Yea, God, we worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank you, Father God, that you are the Lord of our salvation. You are the King of kings, the Lord of lords. You are the lifter and the covering of our head. Lord, we thank you right now that we do not battle without the whole arm of God. Yea, God, for we must have on the whole arm of God in order to defeat the enemy in the mighty the name of Jesus. I praise you for deliverance. I praise you, God, for salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for those who are listening right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that they will begin to understand that Jesus Christ, he is our salvation. He is the name that is greater than any name in the earth, above the earth, beneath the earth, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic power must yield to the name of Jesus Christ. They must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. So our Father, we just praise you for liberation. We just thank you, Father God, that we are disarming the devil right now. We are disarming him right now and we are making him a spectacle in the mighty name of Jesus. We render him harmless. We render him powerless against us in the mighty name of Jesus. We loose the blood of Jesus right now, the blood of the Lamb right now over every area of our lives in our homes in the mighty name of Jesus. And we give you the grace, we give you the honor, we give you the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, all honor, all glory belongs to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So right now, we just thank God, amen. As we enter in, amen. As we enter and we give God praise, amen. And we just read some scriptures and we're just going to speak life tonight, amen. This morning, <laughs> the midnight hour, we're going to speak life, amen. We're going to speak deliverance and salvation into every area of our lives it's important you know (laughs) it's so important to command your midnight to command your the midnight hour uh to begin to release the word of god the word of god should be released 24 hours and amen 24 hours a day But it's important not just to command your morning, but to command your midnight, to make your declarations be made known before you sleep. Amen. Your declaration is going to command your day. Amen. And it's going to shut every door of manipulation. It's going to shut every door of manipulation, mind controlling spirits. So it's so important for us to pay attention to what God is saying to us, not just during the day or in the evening time, but in the midnight hour. Amen. This is when the enemy goes to war. Uh, This is when witches and warlocks and every astral projection spirit, uh, satanic spirits, powers of darkness, they go to war during this time because this is the time we we go into our deeper sleep uh, from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. So we must pray. Amen. So we need to start praying and praying with fire, you know, praying by fire, by force, praying with the power of the Holy Spirit and believing and trusting in God when we begin to speak and release his promises. Amen. So the word of God says, Ephesians 6, finally, my brethren, brethren, (laughs) be strong in the Lord. Amen. Be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, against the plans, against the schemes of the devil. Pray at all times. Pray at all times, on every occasion, in every season, in the spirit, with all prayer and entreaty. To that end, keep alert and watch with strong purpose and perseverance, interceding in, on the behalf of all saints. Interceding on the behalf of all saints. Amen. And there are 
many people that I know that in the seas are around the clock. There's people who actually stays praying and speaking the word of God daily. Amen. Trusting and believing in God in his promise in his promises. Amen. And because of that, it really changes everything around us in our lives as being intercessors. Intercessors are to be on the watch. You know, we are watchmen. We are supposed to warn the body of Christ, you know, you know, set the alarm, you know, let them know the enemy is coming and he's coming by force, you know, and we have to be prepared, be militant. Amen. And begin to speak the word of God, you know, stay in agreement with the word of God, stay in alignment with the word of God and not be distracted with the things of this world, with the flesh of this world, but continue to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. And all these things shall be added unto us. As we begin to seek God, our desires will no longer be the desires of this world, but our desires will link up with what he has for us. Amen. That's why the word say to delight ourselves in him. And I just want to encourage you and just share that with you before we go into prayer, to continue the prayer that is on part one amen so if you want to hear the rest of the prayer you must play part one amen and the prayer is about uh fighting against satanic spirits unclean spirits amen the prayer is about making your daily confession trusting and believing in god amen because your confession allows god to get involved in your situation amen whether you confessing or whether you are praying or reading out loud amen whatever you prefer to do but you are being a witness to the most high jah amen jehovah yahshua the messiah amen the lord who is our salvation the lord who sends help amen he sends the holy spirit to help us amen he sends the holy spirit not just to help but to train us amen praise God so that we will know how to pray and make proclamations unto the Lord amen that we would not only pray but encourage and declare amen declare the word and build people's faith up and speak the blood of Jesus amen this way we will be able to resist the enemy but if we're not praying if we're not seeking God seeking his counsel amen how are we supposed to win the spiritual warfare Amen. And we need backup. We need a backup crew. I mean, we need more intercessors. We need more intercessors to come to the front line. Amen. We need people who are really serious about surrendering everything and to become a, 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 a person of war. You know, <laughs> I, I really don't know how, how else to say this, you know, um, but just become a, a faithful servant of God an intercessor i mean be militant you know when when you come back in somebody else goes back out i mean to continue the fight in the mighty name of jesus because it's so important for us to fight and and to fight with the word of god because god has given us the weapons i mean weapons of mass destruction so we must come in agreement i mean and we must begin to learn how to conduct these spiritual warfares i mean against the kingdom of darkness as the holy spirit leads leads us to deal with with the spiritual powers of darkness amen through prayer so we need to know how to operate in prayer we need to know how to rebuke amen how to rebuke the powers of darkness how to bind them up in the mighty name of jesus you know bound them up bind them up However you want to use the word of God, how to uproot, amen. For the word of God says in Matthew 15, 13, Jesus said, whatever my father did not plant there, he will uproot it, amen. Because the enemy comes when we are sleeping. He plants tears while we sleep, amen. And, you know, when we are sleeping, majority of us, we go into into a dream, amen, and we begin to have good dreams amen praise god or we will have bad dreams amen and this is how the enemy comes in to pollute our purpose and our 
destiny in the body of Christ to our dreams by infiltrating us with satanic lies, satanic visions. And sometimes it's not always Satan. It could be God uh, giving us a word, a word of warning to the people. Amen. So we must know how to use the word of God, how to speak the blood of Jesus, how to command. Amen. How to cause our enemies to become our footstool in the mighty name of Jesus. We must also remember how to cut the enemy, how to cut the, the weapons that he used to keep us in bondage. Amen. And we must know how to loosen with the word of God. So it's so important to have special guidelines and how to strategically pray. So you must, you know, spiritually map out your prayers. And that's one thing I, I really, I really have been doing for a very long time. Amen. If I want to pray about money, I map out my prayers or I look for prayers that associated with um, praying for money, uh, financial blessings. Amen. If I need healing, I, I strategically plan out scriptures that relates to healing. Amen. So before you start praying, you should be mapping out the scriptures. Amen. And knowing how to pray. This is what intercessors do. Um, <laughs> this is really not something I wanted to talk about tonight or this morning. Amen. Wherever you are in this God's world. But I guess this is what Abba Father wants tonight. Amen. So let me submit my will to him. Amen. Abba wants you to know how to pray. Before you can seal anything with the blood of Jesus, you must know how to speak the word of God. You must know how to bring a resolution with the word of God. You, you can't sit there in self-pity and feel sorry for yourself and ask for somebody else to go on the battleground while you sitting down moping and wallowing in your mess. Amen. You must man up, put on your boots and get ready to go in the battle with the rest of us. Amen. Because we need more intercessors. We are, we need more intercessors calling, calling intercessors. Amen. This is the time this intercessors must rise up in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, arise <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Um, God heart is crying out to his people. Abba Father wants to hear our voice. Abba Father wants us to pray. Abba Father wants us to worship him in spirit and in truth. Abba Father wants us to be obedient. You know, God doesn't want someone being obedient for the moment to get what they want when they want it. You know, God is not a bank account. When you, if you, when you put something in, like for example, I used this example many years ago, you put $20 in your bank account and then you expect to get $200 back. That's impossible. You only put $20 in. Amen. So what, what is the point that I'm making? What is the point? The point is you must invest in your spiritual growth. The word of God say that we should, you know, take care of our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, we should maintain our salvation, maintain our deliverance. And maintenance comes with prayer and daily confessions and making daily declarations with faith. You know, our faith must be nurtured. Our faith must be watered, you know, because it's a seed, you know, and we must keep not, not, you know, it's a size. The, the Bible illustrates the faith as being the size of a mustard seed. So that means it's going to grow and it's going to be very strong. But many of times, Certain individuals, I can't speak for everybody, amen, but there are certain individuals who are not cultivating their faith. And so when they get into trouble, the first thing they cry on is, Lord, Lord, help me. Oh, Lord, send this person, send that person. But God already sees where your situation is. Our Father can see how the enemy had took legal ground. In your life, amen, because of your disobedience. So you must repent and you must submit yourselves, amen. Submit yourselves daily, you know. Get get rid of the things that is keeping you in bondage in the mighty name of Jesus. Stop allowing people to waste your time. And many a times you could be wasting that person's time. You could be draining somebody else while somebody's 
praying and inter interceding for you, you are still out here being disobedient and rebellious. Amen. And God is not pleased with you. So get yourself right. Get your house in order and submit unto the most high living God. And Abba Father will do the rest for you. Amen. Because he's a loving God. He's a, he's a loving God. <laughs> he's a God of kindness. Amen. And our father loves when we are obedient because the word of God says better to be obedient than to sacrifice in the name of Jesus. So tonight, this morning, this afternoon, <laughs> wherever you are in this God's world, I pray that you will begin to subject yourself to the purpose that God has for you. That you allow God's word to order your steps and let no iniquity have dominion over you. I pray that you will resist the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Resist the devil and all his pressures. Resist the devil with all his pressure, the pressure that he puts on your life. And resist his, his attacks and his deceptions. Amen. Because he's a liar. The Bible says he is the father of lies. Amen. So I pray that you resist the devil in the mighty name of Jesus, that you will draw nigh unto God. Amen. And Abba Father will draw nigh unto you. But you must wash yourself, cleanse yourself of your sin. Amen. So I pray now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will repent and turn from your wicked ways. Amen. And ask Abba Father to forgive you. And if you're not sure of what to ask our Father to forgive you, I pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you because he is our helper. Amen. He is our standby. He is our <laughs> teacher, our counselor. Amen. And he will tell you what to do. So resist the devil. Amen. And submit to God. Resist the devil and submit to God. Resist him. Drive him out. Amen. Exclude him from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Repel him in the mighty name of Jesus with the blood of the lamb. Repel him with the blood. Speak the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. It's so important to speak the power of the blood of Jesus because there's many benefits in the blood. Amen. But usually people don't speak the blood. They just say, oh, Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. You know, no, no. When you're going to pray, you get militant about it. You're on the battlefield. And it's time for us to be militant, have a militant mindset. Amen. Praise God. This is no playground here. We're in the war room. <laughs> and we need some generals. We need some big high ranking officers to come on board to train up some intercessors. Amen. Because you must know how to overcome the enemy. But before you can overcome him, you must know how to pray. Amen. For the word of God say we overcome him by the word of our testimony. If you're not sure what your testimony is, how are you going to overcome him by the blood of the lamb? Amen. So change your testimony today. Speak life. Amen. Speak life and change your testimony. Ask Abba Father to give you a new name. Ask Abba Father to give you a new story. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So we just thank God for his mercy for his mercies, amen, because his mercies are new every morning. So we decree and declare the mercies of God upon your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I will continue to seek the will of the Father for those who desire to be <laughs> intercessors. I'm calling for intercessors. I'm calling for people to get up and put on their boots and come out on the battlefield. Amen. Because Jesus Christ has done it for us. He has did it for us. And it is our responsibility. Amen. To maintain what he has already done for us in the mighty name of Jesus. So we oppose every satanic power, every demonic spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree and declare the power of the blood of the lamb over every area of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I love to pray. I really love to pray. The reason why I love to pray because <laughs> it saved my life. <laughs> it delivered me from terror. It delivered me from harassment. It delivered me from death. It delivered me from so much stuff. And I, 
He heard my voice. Amen. <laughs> he heard my cry. And he came and he lifted me up out of the dirt, out of the mess, out of the pain and suffering. He protected me. Even when I was still suffering, he protected my life because he said, I shall live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. Amen. And I speak that over you, whoever you are right now. I speak that word over you that you shall not die, but live. And you shall declare the words of the Lord. Our Father has done marvelous things in my life. Some things are unexplainable. Some things I just don't talk about because it's between me and daddy. Amen. <laughs> but I have overcame. Amen. I have overcame a lot of stuff. And the enemy here is not done with me, but I don't focus on that. Amen. I focus on what God is doing now in my life. Amen. It's a blessing. Amen. It's a blessing to, to, to belong to him. Amen. My heart belongs to him. My mind, everything about me belongs to him. And I have disappointed him on multiple occasions, but he continues to love me and I continue to love him. And I, I surrender all to, to Jesus. I surrender all to him. You know, all to him I surrender. Amen. And I and I thank God that he has strengthened me. He has given me insight and revelation of his plans, not just for my life, but for many other people. Amen. So I just pray that you will be obedient. I just pray that you will seek the face of God, the will of God. Amen. And don't get caught up with wanting this and that. Because when you die, all what you pray for, you can't take it with you. It's, it is no room for that in your casket. <laughs> There's no room for it in the kingdom of God. Because everything God's going to do is going to be new, 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 new. Amen. So I decree and declare new beginnings of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So let me move on. We are moving into the 2 a.m. Amen. We're going to start dealing with these foul spirits. We're going to start dealing with these witches over the region, over the territory. We're going to deal with these witches that likes to pollute the waters, pollute the land, amen, with their evil spells, amen. We're going to speak the blood of Jesus over their lies. We're going to counterattack them with the blood, amen. So there's so much stuff that we must do, but at this time we must stay alert. So I must stay alert because the time is winding up, amen. So when I get through praying and I go to bed, there is somebody else, another man, another woman of God, who's going to take over the next watch and begin to pray. And then when they are done, somebody else is going to take over the next watch. Amen. So we must keep the fire burning. Keep the fire burning. Amen. Burn, burn in the mighty name of Jesus. The fire must not go out. So don't be lazy and don't be inconsiderate. Be considerate, but don't be inconsiderate. There are people praying day in and day out. And I thank God in the mighty name of Jesus that he has elected me to be one of those people. Amen. In Jesus name. So we're going to enter into worship right now. And then after the worship, praise God, we are going to go into the prayer. Amen. So we're just going to go into this worship. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked, who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God.
Amen. Amen. Son of the living God. Amen. We give God the praises. We give God the honor and the glory. Our Father, we thank you for your mercies and your grace upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the power of the blood of Jesus. Amen. We praise you, Father God, that you are the lifter and the covering of our head in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that we stand strong and steadfast in you, our Father, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Yea, God, we are strong in you, Father God. By we are strong in you, Lord. Amen. In your power and in your might. Amen, Father God. So, Abba Father, I thank you for the whole arm of God. I thank you, Lord, that we are to pray at all times, in every occasion, in every season. Lord, I thank you for the power of the blood of Jesus. Abba Father, I thank you, Father God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you right now. You cover all the mirrors with the blood of Jesus. You seal off the gateways in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right, Abba Father. You seal all the gateways, all the portals, all entrances of the enemy where Satan and his cohorts cannot enter in. You seal it and you cover it with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we come against every spell. We come against every ritual. We come against every incarnation, every hexes, every sacrifice. We come against every spirit of curses. We come against every evil altar that is raised up against us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, I thank you, Father God, that you blow out all the candles which may have been lit in rituals against us, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, I thank you, Father God, that all curses are reversed into blessings. Father, I thank you right now. All curses are reversed into blessings. I thank you, Father God, that every spell, every ritual, every incarnation, every incantations, hexes, sacrifices, curses, or altars raised up against us right now, Father God. We decree and declare the power of the blood of Jesus. We break their word curses right now. We break their evil decrees right now. We break, 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 break it by fire, by force in the mighty name of Jesus. Yay, God, we come against them right now with every opposing power that you have given us. We oppose them with the power of the blood of Jesus. We oppose them with the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, by fire, by force, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for the atonement of the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We release the power of the word of God. We release the power of the word. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the word came and dwelt among us in flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yea God. I thank you right now God. For the shed blood of your son Jesus Christ. And I thank you Father God. That you have blown out all candles God. All candles that are being used right now. All candles that are lit right now. That may have our pictures. May have pictures of our family members. May have some uh, something of our our personal use, Father God. Right now, Father God, we oppose it, those rituals right now. We break every word curse. We break those hexes. We break those sacrifices. We break those curses that are being spoken over our lives, knownly and unknownly. We break it by fire, by force. We break it by fire, by force. We break, 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 break it by fire, by force. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, we ask that you seal off this room, God. Seal off every room right now for every listener who is listening to this prayer we ask you father god i ask you right now our father in the mighty name of jesus to seal off every room with the precious blood the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of jesus seal their room whoever you are begin to speak the blood of jesus in your house speak the blood of jesus in every four corners of your house sprinkle the blood the blood the blood the blood of jesus in your home in the mighty name of jesus yay god we thank you for the power of the blood amen the blood blood that you will hide us in the spirit God as we declare this room declare our home as holy ground amen holy ground amen this is holy ground amen this is holy ground whoever you are right now you must step outside your door and begin and begin to declare the porch, the doorsteps around your house, the land, your property, and begin to decree and declare holy ground. This is holy ground. Everything that is hidden in the earth, everything that is buried in the earth against you right now. Ah, be it zoom right now. Come out the ground. Come out the ground. Come out the ground. Come up. Be uprooted. Be uprooted by fire by force. Be uprooted by fire by force. Every garment that's been hidden in the ground to oppose you with witchcraft. Be exposed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. All bones, all bones hidden in the ground, all bones, all hidden devices of the enemy that is working against you and your household. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, 
Catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Haranababose kere kere kere. Ranamako soto rebe kese taroko soto. Ranamakase. Every false prophecy, every false prophecy that has been spoken into your life right now, that is delaying you, that is causing stagnation. We cancel those words right now. We notify them with the blood of Jesus. The blood of the Lamb. Ranamose kere oshande. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abba Father, we thank you for more grace. We thank you for more increase in the mighty name of Jesus. That's right. That's right. Whoever you are, go outside and begin to decree and declare your property is holy ground. And anyone that wants on your property to do any evil to you, they will be exposed immediately. They will be exposed immediately. Anyone that walks in your house and hides devices in your house, uh huh, hide monitoring spirits in your house, uh -huh, hide monitoring uh, devices in your house, they will be destroyed by fire by force in the mighty name of Jesus. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed by fire by force in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we ask that, that the blood of Jesus will continue to seal their home and protect them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask you now in the name of Jesus that you will send forth your ministering angels, uh huh, your angelic helpers, uh huh, to come and minister to, to whoever's listening to my voice. Send your divine helpers, God. Send your angelic helpers. Host, Father God, let them come, 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 fun, come, 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 come from the east, from the west, haha, <laughs> come, come from the north, from the south, from the four corners of the earth. Let the angelic angels begin to round up and come and be your aid in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, be your aid in the mighty name of Jesus. Strong winds, strong winds, come, 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 come by fire, by force. The we speak destruction to those altars that have been erected right now those evil covenants that are being made against you we crash them we crash them we cause the fowl of the air to crash land and die crash land and die crash land and die every demonic fowl of the air that is operating as a mantra spirit crash land and die 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 in the mighty name of jesus i pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that whoever's listening to the sound of my voice, that you will surrender to the Holy Spirit. You will surrender to God right now in the mighty name of Jesus. For it's not by power nor by might, but by His Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your loved ones will be covered with the blood of Jesus. Your loved ones will be covered. Amen. We ask that you cover everyone in your household. I ask on the behalf of whoever's listening, let your loved ones be covered. Uh huh. In every area of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be protection, Father God. Let there be protection over their finances, protection over their marriages or their marriages to come. Let there be protection over their relationships. Let there be protection in their ministries. And we bind Satan's kingdom here on earth just as it is bound in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. And we ask you, Father, to prepare the heavenly courtroom and that and that all the demons and familiar spirits come and take their places in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, we come now to the heavenly courtroom. Amen. We come to the courtroom right now. And we ask God to give us justice right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us justice, Father God, justice. Yea, God, because by the blood of Jesus, we are justified by faith, not by works in the mighty name of Jesus. Yea, God, give us justice. Give us justice. Every illegal chain that has you bound right now. Break, break, break every illegal chain that is wrapped around your legs, wrapped around your waist, wrapped around your arms and your neck. Break, 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 break in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree and declare justice shall be your portion. Justice shall be your portion. Deliverance shall be your portion. Salvation shall be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Hey God, we thank you, Father God, that you are our judge. You are Yahshua, Jesus. You are our advocate in the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit bears witness for us. And we thank you for your word right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, your word says in Revelations chapter 12, verse 11, and they have overcome, conquered him 
by the means of the blood of the lamb and by the utterance of their testimony for they did not love and cling to life even when faced with death holding their lives ch- holding their lives cheap till they had to die for their witnessing amen so Many of us may have to die for our witness. I mean, many of us must die for our testimony. Amen. But at least we know we have overcome by the blood of the lamb. Amen. That is our testimony. We have overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen. The word of our testimony in the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of the lamb, the blood of Jesus speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Amen. The blood of Jesus brings forth benefits. Amen. Because we love not our lives unto death. We do not consider our lives to be cheap. Our life has been purchased with the blood of Jesus. Amen. And many a times there are many people, many of times, many people have me praise God. Amen. That has died for their testimony of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to die? Are you ready to surrender? Are you ready to commit? Amen. Ask yourself that question. So we just give God the honor and the glory. And we thank him for this message, part two, amen, Uh, sealing our testimony, amen, praise God, speaking life, sealing our deliverance with prayer and protection, part two, listen to part one, and I'm your host, Jacqueline King, may God bless you, may God increase you, may God increase and strengthen you, amen, may he be your help. May he be your portion. Double, double. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.